let's try to solve the time reading question so all you are in sixth class and i hope that all of you know how to read time using a clock so if you know how to read time using a clock then very simple questions are being asked and you can easily answer them it is said that time and tide wait for none time is very precious so we should do all our work timely so that we don't miss out on anything so we have to read the time firstly what is the time given in the clock in first one let us solve a part the time given is 8 o'clock in b part time given is 8:20 we can see in c part it is 9 and in d part it is 8:20 so we are given these and we have to answer some questions about that what time will be let us solve a part first what time is on the clock it's 8 o'clock and what time will be in 3 hours means in next 3 hours means 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 o'clock then question number 3 what time was it 1 hour and 20 minutes ago means before so it was 6:40 what time will it be in 4 hours and 40 minutes so after 8 4 hours and 40 minutes means 12 40 it will be 12 40 next b part read the time it is 8 20 then what time will it be in 2 hours and 20 minutes 8 20 2 hours and 20 minutes will be added so it will be 10 40 what time was it 4 hours ago ago 4 hours is asking so it was i think 4:20 am so or pm maybe so it must be 4:20 we can't say about am and pm because he is not giving the time am or pm so next is what time will it be in 3 hours and 40 minutes means after 8:20 8:20 three hours plus 40 minutes will be added so the time will be exactly 12 o'clock now come to c part what time is it is 9 o'clock and what time will it be in 1 hour and 20 minutes means 8 uh, 8 9 o'clock plus 1 hour and 20 minutes means it will be 10 20 what time was it 2 hours and 40 minutes before means ago it was so we will minus that we will subtract that the time will be 6 20 next is what time will it be in 4 hours means after 4 hours of 9 o'clock 9 10 11 12 1 so the answer will be 1 o'clock next come d part what time is on the clock it is we can see again 8 20 next what time will it be in 3 hours in next 3 hours means 8 20 plus 3 hours it will be 11 20 we will add then what time was it 2 hours and 20 minutes ago before we have to subtract we have to see then we have to subtract then we will get 6 o'clock as the answer 2 hours and 20 minutes before ago so we will subtract 2 hours and 20 minutes so 20 minutes directly and from 8 to 6 so the answer will be 6 o'clock exactly then what time will be in 1 hour and 40 minutes so we will add it and the answer we will get will be 10 o'clock so this is how you have to solve the puzzles that are related to time reading but you should know how to read the time from the clock that is the main thing